All right, guys, so some uh, very exciting news here. This is the uh, Kame 7000 32-bit version of their uh, gimbal. Uh, this is slightly different than the 8-bit version I, I configured a while back. Uh, this is a 32-bit version. The difference, uh, there are some differences in the motors. The main difference is the control board. Uh, everything just works better. Um, there are two sensors now, dual IMUs, so one sits on top of the camera. We have one mounted here at the uh, rear post. Um, the system is just overall more stable, more flexible, uh, and it's, it's just a better system overall. And now Kame is shipping this. I, most of you guys all probably already have this, uh, but in any case, what I wanted to show you was my final build. I actually was working all day yesterday documenting the process from scratch uh, literally assembling it with every screw so you guys can follow along with that video i'll have at least six to seven parts to that video i have five done so far and i'll be uploading that very soon um, but it's pretty much unboxing it and building it uh, putting all the pieces together where everything goes um, down to running the wires and hopefully i'll get to the point where i can show you how to configure some pids i'm no expert Mine is not tuned the best. Uh, I'm still working on that. That's really the hardest part about these gimbals. But the good thing is that Kame says they are working on several different camera models and lenses, lens combinations. And what they're going to do is configure PIDs. And so once you have your gimbal assembled, you literally download their PIDs, install it, and you're ready to go. So hopefully we can see that from Kame soon. Um, but for now, I had to configure my own PID to work with the GH4 and a 12 to 35 millimeter lens. Now, again, let me show you some of the differences with this new 32-bit version. Uh, keep in mind, mine is not the best out there because I haven't configured the software, but let me just show you where I'm at so far. So we'll boot this up. All right, so powered it on. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not tuned up uh, perfectly just yet, but this is the GH4 with the 12 to 35. Um, so as you can see, the 32-bit version can stabilize a camera. It can accept extreme angles, unlike the 8-bit um, version where it would freak out once you pass a certain degree. This one can support um, some pretty extreme angles here. So uh, another thing that the 32-bit uh, version could do, you'll notice that if I have to get my camera up eye level, I have to bring it up very high. Uh, this gets very tiring with your arms. Um, the 32-bit version, you can actually uh, get it upside down or inverted. Let me see if I can get it there. And then you can hold your camera up this way. So this is actually eye level with the camera. Um, and my arms are kind of tucked in so I don't have to raise my hands very high. This, this I'll be able to shoot for a longer period of time. Now unlike the 8-bit version as well, um, this one will have long-term stability. So I'll rotate this back around, put it back. You'll notice that it's still maintaining uh, stability on the camera, unlike the 8-bit version, which would basically freak out and you'd have to reboot the whole system. So this one is still uh, working. Um, that is pretty much where I'm at so far. Uh, definitely 32-bit version is the way to go with any gimbal. Um, and Kame now has this available in their 7000 model. Uh, like I said, I, I worked on several, several different videos from beginning to end in case any of you guys are intimidated about taking on this process. Uh, I'm no expert myself um, and I broke it up into parts so if you pretty much know how to assemble these things you can skip most of that and then get towards the end where you might uh, have some questions. Um, I have a lot of questions myself but I'm able to put it together. I'm able to install the software, configure it somewhat. Um, Came did say that they would configure PIDs for us that we can download and those should be ready and available uh, hopefully in the coming weeks but definitely this is probably one of the um, most complete and uh, simplest DIY gimbals out there for cameras the size of uh, the Canon 5D Mark III or, or under um, DSLRs they they say they will have other gimbal versions as well for like really really big heavy cameras but this one right here, especially with the 32-bit version, which is more stable, can support a lot of different cameras uh, from the 5D size and under. 
um, so anyways I'll have those videos up uh, in the in the coming weeks um, hopefully next week I'll be I'll be gone this week at Sinegear but um, yeah this is this is where I'm at so far hopefully this uh, if you guys are interested take a look follow the blog cheesycam.com